guys, Ryan here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cool action sequences with your GoPro or other action camera, such as this right here. So the first step is going to be to open up GIMP. So if you don't have that yet, you might want to download it. And in GIMP, you're going to, click, you're going to click File, Open. Select the first picture in your sequence. So I'm going to load that in right here. And uh, that's going to go there. You're going to click File. For your second picture, click Open as Layers. And you're going to make sure that the second picture isn't overlapping the first. So you're going to select that. And that's going to load in. And then you're going to click Open as Layers once more. And you're going to choose your final picture. Or if you have more, just you can keep going. I'm just using three for this example. And so what you're going to do is um, now you're going to select Layer, Stack, and you're going to do Reverse Layer Order. So that will put your first picture on top. Now you're going to click on your first picture. You're going to go to Layer, Mask, Add Layer Mask, and you're going to want to select Black Full Transparency. Add. This might take a second. Okay, so after that loads, you're going to want to go and take, you're going to want to switch these. So you have white on top, black on the bottom, and you're going to select Paintbrush. And you're not going to want to make it too big, so I'll make it about 143. And you're going to start filling in where the picture before it was. So I'm going to fill in him right here. And as you can tell, it's a bit off, like the camera, because uh, when I was taking this photo burst, I accidentally um, moved the camera slightly. So what you're going to want to do is you have to change the size of the brush. So I'm going to change it to about there. And you're going to want to try and just change uh, this part over here. I'm going to select a larger brush. You're going to want to change everything that is, you don't want to, you don't want to put this where your other pictures will be touching. So I'm just going to do it on this half right here. I'm going to select a smaller brush. I'm going to start doing some fine details right here along this dog. You accidentally cut off a bit of his tail. Just undo that. Okay, so now that I've finished editing this first picture, I'm going to go ahead and select my next picture. So you're going to click on that picture you just edited. Go over to Layer, Mask, Add Layer Mask, and then you're going to select Black Full Transparency again. Click Add. Then as you can tell, the next picture will appear right here. And so you're going to do the same process again. So I'm going to bring this brush size down a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start marking it back in. So you can see the landscape is changing just slightly once again. So I'll have to make a few minor details to change that. Which shouldn't be too difficult. And one thing that can help immensely is the opacity tool. So if there's like something that uh, isn't completely like flowing correctly, you can just use the opacity tool to um, kind of just go over it and it'll just blend the pictures together. So as you can tell, I just kind of fixed that. I'm not, I'm not sure if the screen capture is showing that or not, but it just kind of blended those together, and now it looks smooth. And I'm going to move that back up to 100%. And then I'm going to just find detail to some of these minor changes that got made, like right there. And now, as you can tell, I just made that action sequence. And in my opinion, it looks pretty good. If you have any questions on anything that I didn't properly touch on the whole time, don't be afraid to ask me, and don't be afraid to like and subscribe and ask for more content. Thanks for watching.